Yo, what's good, fans of Fight Fans? It's your boy JB, Trap House Boxing, back again with another video. Hey, real quick, man, I just want to address the uh, the whole situation about Roy Jones. But before I get into that, man, if you want to donate to the channel, the Cash App link will be in the description box. Feel uh, please feel free to do so if you would like to. That'd be great. If not, that's cool too. But uh, let's get down into it, man. Uh, you know, I I don't know. I haven't really listened to no any videos about this. But I was having a conversation about this yesterday uh, with my partner, you know, due to the whole, uh, you know, just resume situation with, with Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence and all, all these other guys at PPC, sort of say. And if you really, really break it down, I mean, Roy Jones was right, you know. Uh, we can start with, uh, we can start, we can start with Danny Garcia. If you want to, you know, Danny Garcia ain't did nothing at, at 147. He ain't did him a loss. He got vacant title belts. You know what I mean? He ain't beat nobody of notice at, at, at the top echelon at, at welterweight. You know, and we ain't even got to dig at 140. If you want to dig at 140, I, we can go to 140. You know what I mean? Danny, yeah, Danny got names on his resume at 140, but at the, at the same time, when you want to compare Danny and Bud, Bud always going to have one up on Danny regardless because he got undisputed. Regardless of what Danny did at 140. Danny didn't get undisputed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, we can just kill all, all that little that little argument right there, the little 140 argument. Yeah, yeah. Danny might have more, bi more, more bodies with, with, with more depth, you know, with, with better names on there, but his accomplishments wasn't as huge as Terrence Crawford's was at 140, no matter how you want to slice it up. You understand what I'm saying? And then we can dig to Sean Porter. Sean Porter, what he did at 147 besides lose? Yeah, I mean, we, we give Sean Porter the credit for taking the big fights and, 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 and fighting everybody, but who did he beat? Danny Garcia? Again, who Danny Garcia beat? Nobody at 147. Sean Porter lost to Kell Brook. Who Kell Brook be? Nobody at 147. Nobody but Sean Porter. Again, who Sean Porter be? Nobody. I mean, it, it, it's just plain and simple. It's plain and simple. You know, then we can get to Keith Thurman. Who Keith Thurman be? Before he be Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. Then again, who do they be? Nobody. So if you really want to look at it, if you really, really want to look at it, Terrence Crawford has the, 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 the most prestigious win up under his belt at welterweight. He killed two birds and one stone. He beat the guy who all these guys is chasing, regardless of how you want to look at it. He beat the guy who beat a lot of these, uh, you know, legendary names that was the way. A lot of guys is gonna go into the Hall of Fame. I can guarantee you, Keith Thurman, he ain't gonna go to the Hall of Fame. Danny Garcia, probably won't make it. Sean Porter, damn sure ain't gonna make the Hall of Fame. Terrence Crawford, he gonna make the Hall of Fame. Whether you like it or not, he's gonna make it. Sean Earl Spence, still questions mark. We, it, we don't know yet. Possible he could. Possible he could. But if you just look at it, uh, it's it's just simple to see. Terrence Crawford got the WBO belt. The guy who beat Manny Pacquiao. Beat him easily, stopped him. Everybody he fought at 147, he stopped him. These guys ain't stopping everybody who they fighting at 147. I mean, am I right or wrong? If if somebody can dispute this, please dispute this. I, I'm I want anybody to challenge me on this, please. Challenge me on this welterweight shit, because I guarantee you, 
I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So if you really look at it, Earl Spence ain't really did shit. But B. Keith Thurman leftovers. That's a fact. That's a fact. This shit look good. It look good. But if you can name me anything that either one of these dudes accomplished that's going to put them into the Hall of Fame, somebody please put this in the chat. I mean, in the uh, comment section. And let it be factual. Because I already canceled three out of the four that ain't going to make it to the Hall of Fame. That's just bottom line. <laughs> Danny Garcia, he might. He, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think Danny Garcia, he may make it to the Hall of Fame. He may not. I don't know. But Danny Garcia ain't beat nobody at 147 to get a belt. Sean Porter, who he beat at 147 to get a belt? These dudes winning vacant titles. Winning vacant titles. Somebody please dispute that. But if you if you really want to look at it, you need to be putting pressure on Manny Pacquiao to be trying to get his WBO belt, avenge his WBO belt back that he lost from Jeff Horn. That's a fact. That's a big fact. Right? Why ain't nobody putting pressure on Manny Pacquiao for that? No, oh, he don't know who's trying to screw you. He over there with Al, Bob, and, and, and e. Wayne, and Dan, and all this whole other crap. Still letting Manny Pacquiao slide out the back door. Still letting him slide on out the back door. You look at Earl's situation, he, I mean, him fighting Danny Garcia, what, what does that do to his resume? It look like it's a step back to me. This is what I try to tell you dummies on OG Boxer Talk one time, but nobody wanted to listen to me. Everybody went, oh, oh, oh you just caping for Bud. And no, nah, I'm putting facts out here. Facts. You niggas got a uh, fanboy motion attached to your, to your arguments, and it don't make sense. It don't make sense. Danny Garcia is a step back for Earl Spence. It's a good fight, you know, competitive-wise, but as far as making sense, it don't make sense. It's dangerous. It don't make sense. Yeah, Danny Garcia ain't ain't beat none of the guys at welterweight. He didn't beat Sean Porter. He didn't beat uh, uh, Keith Thurman. Simple. Roy Jones is right. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video.